Hey, welcome back to another design audit. Today I'm gonna be looking at a project from Michael. So the first thing that I've noticed is pretty classic, which is um, the position and uh, the spacing between the magnifying glass and the search label could be a little bit bigger and you can actually get it by creating a circle and making sure that the icon is in the middle and that way just moving the label a little bit out of the way. And as you can probably see by now, the search label is not really centered in the input box. It's a little bit too low. So I'm gonna use the standard red square method to figure out the best size of that text within the box so it's as centered as possible. And it's gonna take a while. The left and right margins turned out to be 16, which is a great number because then you can make another square that's 32 points and use it to align some other elements for the good hierarchy of the entire screen. So a small change like that will make it a little bit more readable and a little bit more thought out at the first glance, which is basically what we're aiming for here. On one of the other screens, I noticed the blue circular icon and then a photo of the user on the right. But because of their different sizes, it creates a visual imbalance between the two, so it's best to just enlarge the icon to actually match the size of the photo. And in general, the app is using rounded corners everywhere, like the rays of the sun or the scanner box here. But there is one item that really doesn't match these, and that's that check mark here. So let's quickly recreate it, having that in mind, so we don't really see those sharp corners here. The buttons on the first screen appear to have the right alignment for the text, but the text on the top, the main header text of those screens, is a little bit too spread out, so I'm gonna decrease the line height a little bit, so it's gonna be flowing a bit better towards that smaller text below that. So the general concept of this design is going the right way, so the changes here are pretty minimal, but they do influence the end result. So and that is it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video and see you next time. Cheers! A lot of the techniques that I've been showing here are outlined in more detail in our book, so go to designeui.com and you can get 50 pages for free right now. And if you decide to buy the full book, you can also get a 20% discount.